how a jet airliner works. 35,000 feet above, defying gravity, moving faster than a race car, sits a marvel of engineering, the jet airliner. But what mysteries lie beneath its polished exterior? In a mere century, we've transitioned from the fragility of the right flyer to the behemoths of the sky. Let's unravel this intricate symphony of technology. Aerodynamics is the dance between air and the aircraft. The wing, or airfoil, is curved more on top, creating a low-pressure area that essentially lifts the plane. Called the Bernoulli Principle, it's why these massive machines fly. But takeoff and landing require extra lift. That's where flaps and slats come in, increasing the wing's surface area and curvature. Jet engines are intricate machines. At their core, they follow the suck, squeeze, bang, blow principle. Suck. The large front fan pulls in massive amounts of air. Most of this bypasses the engine core, contributing to propulsion and engine cooling. Squeeze multi-stage axial compressors, a series of rotating and stationary blades, then compress this air, making it hotter and denser. Bang! In the combustion chamber, the compressed air mixes with fine fuel spray and ignites. This releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of hot, expanding gases. Blow. These gases flow over turbine blades, making them spin and then exit through the nozzle, creating a high-speed jet. The turbine, while extracting energy from the exhaust gases, drives the compressor and fan. The balance is delicate, high bypass ratios. Exotic materials like nickel-based super alloys and ceramics and precise manufacturing techniques keep these engines efficient, powerful and safe. A plane's structure constantly battles pressure, temperature shifts and physical loads. Materials like titanium and composite fibers ensure lightness with strength. Ever noticed wings wobbling during turbulence? They're designed to flex, dissipating energy and preventing structural failure. Airliners run on complex systems. The hydraulic system, powered by engine-driven pumps, actuates controls like moving the ailerons or deploying landing gear. In case of cabin pressure loss, oxygen masks deploy. They release oxygen through a chemical reaction ensuring you can breathe even if the plane's systems fail. An airliner's cockpit looks like something from a sci-fi movie, but amongst the dials, switches and screens lies the BRAIN, the Flight Management System, FMS. The FMS takes pilot inputs, current aircraft state, weather and navigation data to compute the best flight path, speed and altitude. Once in the air, pilots engage the autopilot, which reads FMS data to control the plane's trajectory. It can maintain altitude, heading, and even execute complex maneuvers. Advanced systems integrate real-time weather, air traffic, and terrain data, helping pilots make informed decisions. There's even a TCAS, Traffic Collision Avoidance System, that can recommend or execute evasive actions. And believe it or not, some aircraft can land themselves using CAT-3 autoland systems when visibility is near zero. Pilots monitor and can intervene, but the computers handle the heavy lifting. So, do pilots fly? Absolutely. They manage, make decisions, handle emergencies, and yes, Sometimes, they let the computers take over for efficiency and safety. Planes communicate constantly, with satellites for GPS, ground-based VOR stations for triangulating position, and air traffic control using radar. It's a ballet ensuring safe and efficient flight. Those massive wheels that touch down? That's the landing gear, but it's not just about wheels and brakes. 
Landing gears absorb and dissipate the kinetic energy during landing. The oleo-pneumatic strut, filled with gas and hydraulic fluid, acts like a shock absorber, cushioning the touchdown. Modern jets employ carbon disc brakes. Why carbon? They handle extreme heat well and dissipate it quickly. Some even have auto brakes, which apply the necessary force based on the desired deceleration rate. The tires themselves are marvels. Inflated to high pressures, built to bear the plane's weight and designed to safely disintegrate in case of a burst, these aren't your average rubber. Once airborne, retracting the gear is crucial for aerodynamics. The intricate dance of doors and locks ensures the gear is securely stowed or firmly in place when needed. The threat of ice in the skies is real. Wings, engine inlets and other surfaces use anti-icing systems. While some release hot air from the engines, others employ electric heating. The plane's skin isn't just a barrier against air, it's a stressed skin sharing structural loads with underlying beams and ribs. Those small triangular cutouts on the windows, they balance out pressure differences, preventing window cracks. Jet fuel isn't just stored in the wings, it's actively used as a coolant for onboard electronics before being burnt off. This multitasking maximizes efficiency. In emergencies, if engines and primary electrical systems fail, a ram air turbine can pop out. It's a small wind turbine that provides vital hydraulic power and electricity. Ever wondered about onboard fires? Cargo holds have halon gas fire suppressors. When activated, they deprive fires of oxygen, extinguishing them without damaging the cargo. Tiny probes and sensors pepper the plane's exterior they measure airspeed, outside air temperature, and more. The Pitot tube, for instance, measures the dynamic air pressure, crucial for determining airspeed. Above 10,000 feet, the air is thin. Planes maintain a lower cabin altitude, mimicking conditions at a maximum of 8,000 feet for passenger comfort. Outflow valves and compressors ensure this delicate balance. Ever felt dry on board? Jet cabins can be dry. But some modern airliners have humidification systems improving comfort. And no, cabin air isn't stale. Fresh outside air is constantly cycled in, passing through HEPA filters to ensure purity.